Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and a big thank you for joining me. Another episode of Bello Calcio. We are currently out in Japan in the J League managing Shonan Bell Mare. So if you were with us yesterday, you would have seen that we are progressing nicely in both the Champions League and the J League. We at this point of the season hadn't lost any games. However, we have played some games in the in-between. And today we are going to be facing off against Suwon Blue Wings in the AFC Champions League. So let's fill you in on what's been happening so far. So since that game against Uwara Red Diamonds where we won 6-3, we played against FC Tokyo and won 5-0 in a comfortable victory where Nishikawa, Kuwahara, Kitahara, Hata and Ghana were all on the score sheet. We then played against Mazoya in the Champions League group phase. Uh, we won that game 6-0 after a convincing win early on in the season. Nishikawa, Quinones, Kitahara, Praesar, Kitahara and Nishikawa scoring the goals there. And then we were brought back down to earth with a bump as we lost the first game of the season. Uh, we lost 4-1 at home to Yokohama F Marinos. Uh, we were in the lead after 14 minutes. Our daddy getting the goal, but then four late goals from... It says Date, Date... Goke and Maeda all giving uh, Yokohama a 4-1 victory and that was very unexpected. Next time out though we bounced back to form. We won 4-0 against Nagoya Grampus and goals from Preysar, Campania, Machida and Preysar giving us the victory. So that leaves us then looking like this in the J League. We are currently sat second, a game in hand again on Gamba Osaka who we face in the game after this one. Uh, but we are two points behind with that game in hand, so we are well in touch and we are there. In terms of the Champions League, I think we are winners of the group. It's not been confirmed by the game. Maybe it goes head to head, but we've beaten Suwon. But even if we lose today, we will be qualified for the Champions League. Right then, that's pretty much everything up to date. Let's jump into the game and show you how we get on against Suwon Blue Wings in the AFC Champions League. Here we go then, this is the team news and the starting eleven for the Suwon Blue Wings game. So we have Tani in goal, Hata, Hatanaka and Buazri. A little bit of news on Campania. It was Napoli that finally came in and activated the transfer release clause. So he will be going there for £4 million on the 1st of July. Um, it's midway through our season, which is not a good thing. But we do have a few players, as you can see here. Hirabayashi, Hata. And Kuwahara all can fill in and play in that right back slot anyway. So it's not the greatest of losses, but at 20 years old and a full Ecuador international, it's a little bit disappointing to lose him so early on in this save. But we have Ghana in the RPM. Quinones, Preser, Hayashi, Kitahara, and Mita are the two strikers for today's game. So let's jump in and let's see how we round out our Champions League campaign. Here we go then. This is off and running in the J League. No, not in the J League. In the Champions League, sorry. And early on, it's Sue on Blue Wings. I'm getting all confused. We're the away team, aren't we? So we just had a header. My gosh, this is not a good start to the game for me, personally. I will gather my thoughts and we will get back on it. Uh, the ball is now down our end, but we are on a counter-attack. Kitahara gets it. He is going to move it forward to the Preysar. A ball through to Kitahara, who turns the afterburners on, beats the defender. Can't beat the goalkeeper, though. Turns it around for a corner kick. Let's see if Ghana can find anybody in the box with this corner. What can he do? He fires it in. It's at the near post. It's bouncing around like a pinball. Somehow it doesn't go in the net. The header from the near post was bouncing around. It's come out as far as Campania. What can he do with it? So, yeah, we've got three months left of Campania in our first team. Before he goes off to join Napoli. So it's a good move for him. Not a good move for us because we don't need that money anyway. Uh, but we are still on the attack. Hayashi is in. Hayashi is hitting straight at the goalkeeper. So a lively start to this game. We are having some decent chances. But uh, they are holding out at nil-nil. Throwing comes in. It's played into the middle of the park. And they are going to look to attack with a lofty ball. They get it down. And they've switched the play out to the wing. But Campania is going to be there to deal with that pretty easy. Tani then plays to Hatanaka. Uh, Hatter picks it up in the middle of the park. He's going to drive forwards. What can he do? Where? Who can he find? Still going. Finds Kitahara. Now he's going to turn back. Finds Quinones. He's in the box. Can he get a shot off? No, he turns back. 
and you get across it, he can. Campania is there to have a side footy chance. Hits the defender, comes straight back out, and he's blasted out to the halfway line. So, some pretty decent football in the game. Um, just need to take one of these chances because Sue on Blue Wings really haven't had anything. But I suppose even if we were to just get a point, which I don't anticipate happening, it's good enough to make us top of the table in the Champions League. But Quinones is in the box, tries to cross it back. It's cut out by the defender. And Suwon are now on the attack. And this is something we didn't really see in the first game against Suwon. They weren't really playing that high up the pitch. And again, I suppose they're not high up the pitch, but they are when they are turning the ball over and in counter-attack mode. And it gets all the way through to the goalkeeper, gets headed out. Hayashi is going to bring the ball forwards. What can he do? He's tight to the line. Switches it inside to Preso. Takes the ball brilliantly. Plays it back to Boazri at the back. He's now going to move forwards with it. Finds Ghana. Ghana's already on a booking. So is Hatta. Quinones with the ball into Kitahara. Kitahara breaks the deadlock. He also is on a booking somehow. Now I've had three players booked in the opening 32 minutes. But more importantly than that, we have the opening goal of the game. And it's Ghana involved again. Plays to Hatta. He plays it to Quinones. Ball in behind the defender, Kitahara on the turn, goalkeeper comes out, can't get there, and that is a brilliant finish. Uh, 33 minutes are on the clock then, and it's Suwon pushing forwards, they've got a throw in, what can they do with it? They've chipped it into the middle, they've engineered themselves a chance, and they have put it wide of the post. So, disappointing for them to have their first chance, and they miss by so much, especially as the game is uh, kind of picking up pace now. Their goalkeepers just lobbed it forwards. Hatanaka deals with that. Plays out to Quinones. Kitahara to the goal scorer. Plays to Quinones. Finds Mita. Taro Mita's in. Oh my gosh. He, got, he just couldn't side foot it past the goalkeeper, could he? He had to go with that little dink, the chip that goes up and over into the back of the net. And that is a brilliant goal. Taro Mita is the other player that I am actually worried about. I, like He doesn't have a release clause in his contract, but... At half time, I will go and show you the teams that are interested in Taro Mita uh, because it's going to be difficult. I think we can get one more season out of him, but he's not going to be here much longer. And certainly, if we go at the end of the season, I think he'll be the first player out of the door for the money because the club are going to get bucketfuls of money for this player. I remember when we first signed him and we had him in the under 21s, he scored loads of goals in the under 21s. Put him in the first team towards the end of the season, he scored, I think it was like 17 in 11 games. And he's just continued that goal scoring form all the way through the save. And I think we're in for another chance. Kitahara Mita again, and there we go. Just as I was saying, Taro Mita saying it's his 17th goal of the season. It's a brilliantly worked um, piece of football that goes straight into Mita's feet, and he isn't going to miss from there. Hayashi plays it forwards. Campania stops the ball, rolls it into the path of Kitaharu, finds Mita. As soon as it's left his foot, it's in the back of the net. And that is 3 0. So, can we get in a half time? We can. So, yes, let's show you Mita. So, are you ready for this? Mita is currently worth 4.9 to 6.6 .6 million. We do not want to lose this player under any circumstances. However, Paris Saint-Germain are sniffing around the player. You can see here their main interest. They are rumoured to be interested in the player. Now I'm hoping that does come to nothing because I really want to keep Taro Mita to be one of the players who we finish the save with. But I cannot see it. If a massive offer comes in from PSG, the club might just step in overall me and take it anyway. I don't know why they would because we've got 30 odd million in the bank and I really don't want to lose the player. But... I can see from the club's point of view, it would set them up for the next decade to get the kind of money that they must, or surely they can demand, if they're going to accept a bid, they surely are going to get a massive amount of money. I can understand why they would want to take it, but I'd love to finish this season with him. What's going on here? Has it got my scrambled? Oh, sorry, the ball will come off the bar and everybody just gone stood and looked at it. Um, yeah, I'd definitely love to finish this part or this season and finish this save with him in the team. Because he has been a brilliant servant so far in the seasons that I've been here. Plus it would be great to say that we found a player who is going to go to PSG one day. But hopefully not at the end of this season. Um, or not during this season, sorry. He can at the end of the season when the season is all done. Because we are planning to resign anyway as this is going to be the last season of the save. But uh, we really need his goals. I mean we're already losing Campania. We've got Garner on a £10 million pound. 
contract release clause. So if he goes as well, we would be losing potentially Ghana. We are losing Kita Harazin, can't score. We are already losing um, Campania at right back. We would then potentially be losing Nita as well. It would just be a massive blow to the club. Although we have recruited well in the summer or the winter, which is in like it's Japan in, in the main transfer window. We went out, we recruited, we tried to get enough players to deal with these kinds of situations. I think Mitter's got out trick, but he's offside. That looked offside to me. If this goal was awarded, I'd be very surprised. Now they're not even going to look at VAR. It goes straight to the assistant flag. And the goal is disallowed. In fact, let's make a couple of substitutions because Ghana is looking tired again. I think it's going to be a season of Ghana needing to be replaced and watched just due to the fact that he doesn't seem to be able to last games out at the moment. It's difficult because we're playing such a, a huge volume of games that it's fully understandable that he probably won't last them out. But he's, he's in the action again. He's set up Hato, sets up Pracer, hits it straight at the goalkeeper. That's out for a corner kick. So what can we do from this corner? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's the answer. So the time just keeps ticking on. 73 minutes on the clock. We do have another chance here. Pracer's going to get on the ball. Uh, Mizuya... Miyazaki, sorry, is going to cross it in. Finds Hatta. Back to Miyazaki. And then it's into the box. Hatta's had a shot. It's been deflected. The ball's bouncing around up in the air. How does that not cross the line? That is weird. It just kind of looped up. And the goalkeeper run towards the ball, palmed it up in the air, and then caught it. Kept it out. Kept the score at 3 0, which is absolutely fine. If it finishes 3 0, I would take that any day of the week. Mitter trying his best to get that hat-trick and get another one on the scoreboard. But, yeah, we are starting to turn the screw again now. Towards the end of the game, like, I suppose we could call them off a little bit with 3-0. Oh, we don't need to go battering teams, especially when um, Suwon are going to qualify from the Champions League alongside us as well. But, no, the players want to go out and they want to score as many as they can. As me as... Miyazaki, oh my gosh, that name is going to cause me a few problems because he's in, he's set up Mita and Miyazaki to Mita for the hat trick and the goal gets disallowed. So that's two goals now that Mita's had that have been disallowed. Is this a replay? Yes, it is. It wasn't actually Mita that was offside, it was Miyazaki. And Mita taps it into the net, but the, the play gets called back rightfully. So into the last couple of minutes of the game. I think this is going to be all. Although, no. Suwon Blue Wings are going to have a chance. No, they're not. It gets headed out. Are they going to have a shot from here? They are going to have a shot from here. What a shot that is as well. Second goal of the season, it says. Choi Sung Gwen goes and gets the ball. A uh, bit in vain because they're not going to get another couple in the last couple of seconds of added on time. But as soon as he gets the ball here, you can see the curve on the ball from this angle. It's past... Tani in goal before he could even move. That is a really decent finish to give them a goal. But that's all it is. It's a consolation goal. We have won 3 1. Let's power on through all these screens, get back to the uh, schedule, and show you where we're going to be coming back next. We have got a top of the table clash. I could just go one forwards and do that. Let's look at the schedule, though. Plenty of big games coming up. So we've got Gamba Saka, Kawasaki Frontal. I think. To try and streamline streamline this final season. We're going to push forwards here to Kashima Antlers. We've got the U Emperor's Cup second round here. So we're going to skip some J-League games to try and get on with the season. I mean, look at this. We've already been drawn against Vissel Kobe in the AFC Champions League second round. And it's going to become clear quite quickly that the J-League will be where I, I think we'll get that wrapped up pretty quickly. And then the Emperor's Cup and the AFC Champions League always get squashed in at the end of the season. So... Well, yeah, we're going to push forward and play Kashima Antlers. Right then, so that's going to be all for this episode. If you're at this point of the video and you've enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, leave a like, and maybe leave a comment. Uh, share the video if you like. Every set of eyes that we can get on the video helps the channel to grow. Uh, 1,400 subscribers recently passed. A big thank you for that. Really do appreciate every single person that takes the time to do that. But as I said, 
We're going to push forwards into the season now and we are going to come back tomorrow with the Kashima Antlers game in the Emperor's Cup.